It's your boy TVC and check this out because Sakurai just keeps adding on the hype and the funness. As you already know that this weekend, around the, around the timing of the weekend, that we're going to get the Smash Bros. Ballot winner. But not just that, Sakurai just came by and gave us some more trinkets to work with. Well, I'm ready to be in the description down below if you don't want to hear me read. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into Super Smash Bros. Update is now live and includes new stages and costumes. You may have noticed that Super Smash Bros. Update went live earlier this morning. It brings with a host of new features including two new stages for the Wii and Nintendo 3DS with new Mii costumes. The previous announced Super Mario Maker stage is available as well as an update version of the Pirate Ship stage which appears in Brawl. I love the Pirate Ship stage by the way. And it has also rather kindly added the Wii U Duck Hunt stage to 3DS for free. So there you go for some people. There's also new Mii costumes that include two sets for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, a Toad outfit, a business suit. <laughs> I'm really happy for that. Characters from Kadikris Uprising and Mii costumes for Fox and Captain Falcon. The price, I guess I'll just say that right now. Super Mario Maker Stage costs you roughly um, almost two dollars and fifty cents. Um, Wind Maker Stage costs about two dollars. Costs about two dollars or two fifty for the Wii U. It's the only Wii stage. Uh, Mii costume ranging from seventy-five cents to ninety-nine cents for one version, or one dollar fifty cents and one point I mean man, 150 for both full packaging all the meat costume sets you want to just go ahead and buy them all in the get-go five dollars and 25 cents or six dollars and 93 cents basically seven dollars for both the bundle of new co the, the bundle of new content is seven dollars and 74 cents adding that tax will probably eight dollars but I, I'm not math I'm not a math <laughs> expert but really it's a big thing considering that the Smash Brothers ballot is just around the corner. I would think that Saga would probably waited to put that information out, or this information in particular, out with that. Just adding more to the fuel and the fire. I'm not going to sit there and say that some of these extra costumes de confirm characters because I just don't have that sort of mindset. But still, it's good to know that more content is being supplied. Now, the me business suits got me. You, you got me. You got me 100%. I want the me business outfits. I love those with some strange reason. I do like how the um, and me gunner is going to be holding a briefcase. Let's go. I really seriously love those things. Um, I would like to talk more about the Monster Hunter and the Kid Digger's Uprising. But sadly, I don't have a 3DS to actually play Kid Digger. Kid Digger's Uprising, and I don't think I've ever, to my knowledge, ever played Monster Hunter, so I can't really give that much to that. I'm deeply sorry for people who are getting angry about that. It's just, I ain't got no hate towards the games or anything like that, but I just haven't played them yet. There's also a Mario, I don't know if I said this when I read, but there's also a Mario costume that looks, that's Toad, and it Toad looking Kid Toad ain't looking his best, let's just say that, but um, and I'm pretty sure there's a screen on the shot, is, I mean, there's a screenshot showing you what I'm talking about, but hey, I mean, it's gonna sell, because it's me costumes. I do like how the me costume or the me costumes in general are kind of like just like dildo character, not dildo, um, ditto characters as I'm looking at in general. They're just like they're your complete customizable characters, which every fighting game should basically have. That's why I enjoy about seven fighting games is you get these characters. You're also gonna have that one character that you can basically customize through your liking, you know, and that's what I really like about the me costumes and stuff like that. Now I'm probably gonna get that business suit. More or less. I mean, if they put out a freaking, if 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 they put out a Kingdom Hearts outfit for the Mii Fighter, let's say that. I mean, for the for the uh, Sword Mii Fighter, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. But um, like I said, man, this is big things, big thing. You know, Mario Maker stage also, which I I want to see exactly how that is gonna be implemented. I should get that in ASAP and see, because I'm if I'm able to put like bits and pieces of Mario stages. That's gonna be awesome, you know. Like Proto Chat that was in Brawl. My thing with Pro Chat what really made me excited when I first saw stage was, hey, connect your 3D, connect your DS to the game, and maybe you could draw stuff. It, that didn't, that never happened. That was that was a waste of an opportunity, if you ask me. But what what is whatever. I think the Mario Maker stage is gonna be like your Proto Chat equivalent. So, hey, it, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm really charged up for this information. Thank you, Sakurai, for putting this out. I know this is going to sell like hot cakes. We love the meat fighters. We love the meat costumes. We love them. We love them. I just love that business suit. Now, Debo Plim is going to be all business like, and that's what's up. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. Support the series. Subscribe for more Smash Bros. content because I stay updating you guys with this stuff, hopefully. Um, we will talk about the Smash Bros. ballot when that comes. I'm super hyped for that. Let me know in the comment section below who you voted for if you want to. I don't bite. You ain't got to tell me if you don't want to. It's whatever. Later, guys. God bless. Peace. Have a wonderful day. Layer the Banana Nation.